What's up, everybody? Welcome to a brand new mod pack. Oh, yeah, guys. So we are playing a mod pack called Stone Block. That's right, guys. So this is supposed to be like a Sky Block mod pack. However, it's all with stone around instead of a Void Worlds complete stone. I don't really know how that's going to change things up or whatever, but this pack was highly recommended to me by loads of people. They wanted to see a playthrough of this, so this is what we're doing. So my understanding of this mod pack, uh, yeah, it is a kitchen sink style, so it's not expert. We're not going to be like super limited by like changed recipes and have to go out of our way to do all this other stuff. However, uh, I assume collecting resources and things will not be super easy, so we'll see how this all goes. I honestly don't know if this is going to be a fun, a fun pack or not, but like I said, it was uh, suggested by a lot of people, so we're going to check it out. So it says start of stone block is the first quest section. Oh yeah, check it out. <laughs> we got lots of stuff and it's already got like end game stuff all here. All right, so power generation. Okay, so nothing's really locked out. This is just kind of like showing us the different things that we're gonna be able to take. So we got applied energistics and refined storage, it looks like. Storage drawers, Um, yeah. What else we got, draconic evolution. Seems like the standard quests for Draconic Evolution, Project D. Okay, so that'll be interesting. Get some Project D all up in here. So start a stone block. Let's click here. It says, the start. Pebble is obtained by breaking stone with an empty hand. Really? Okay, so we get 16 pebbles, or we need 16. I don't know. This says edit. Why are we in edit mode? Uh. Okay, I just started this world. Uh. B... Q admin edit edit mode off. That's weird that that's on by default. Okay. Well, anyway, let's do it. Let's punch a piece of stone. I don't like this stone right here. Get wrecked stone. So we get two. Okay. So it needed a total of 16 for this quest. Now, I don't know. Do we have vein mind? Why is it? <laughs> okay. So it goes a lot slower when you punch it with stone in your hand. So don't punch stone with pebbles in your hand because you don't get the item that you're looking for uh anyway so we're at 14 oh auto jump is on we have to turn that off i don't does anybody really like auto jump it seems like it's on by default in most packs and i don't like that okay well we have 18 stone pebbles we needed 16 we got the quest complete so let us take the bottom loot chest claim it pop it Speed upgrades, magical. Okay, that seems like a pretty good one. Those are the mid, are those the mid-tier ones? I can't remember, extra upgrade. Yeah, those are the mid-tier ones. Or are those the base ones? <laughs> it doesn't look like the, oh no, these are the base ones over here. Okay, I was thinking they should be grouped together. Yeah, those are the mid-tier ones, so those aren't so bad. All right, so now that we know how to make pebbles, now what? Uh, crafting table. Time to make crafting table with the pebbles. Pebbles to cobblestone to stone crafting table. All right, well, let's take a look at that. Stone crafting table. I don't like... Mm, there's a lot of things I don't like. Where is the way to set this thing to center? This one. Done. I always like it better, like, directly into here instead of over to the side for some reason. So stone crafting table wants four cobblestone to make that. And one cobblestone is made with four pebbles. All right, so let's make that. And we do that. Stone crafting table. Quest complete. Nice. All right, we'll do the middle loot chest. Claim it and pop it. Silk touch chance pendant. Apparently there are chance cubes in this. This is a legendary reward. Awesome. Okay. So we got two rewards now. Both of them are pretty end, or well, I was going to say end game, pretty late game items anyway, things that we can't really be using right at the moment. So let's continue on here and see what else we can do in our stone block world. So dirt, dirt is obtained by using a hammer, craft a stone hammer and start smashing stone to cobblestone to gravel to dirt to sand to dust. So we have to make a hammer. Okay, well, there are a lot of different types of hammers here. Stone hammer wants us, okay, stone rod. Stone rod is cobblestone. All right, so I guess we're gonna be punching a lot more stone. 
Now the next question I have, is there like vein miner in here? Uh, let's go to mod options or excavate. Okay. There's or excavate. Now, do you have to have something in your hand to do it? Cause I'm going to, I'm about, Oh, whoops. Uh, what button is it? I'm used to it being on the tilde key, but that's what opens up the quest book here. Controls we want to do or excavate. So that is the grave key, the tilde key. Uh, so we need to take, let's do this. We'll search by key. We'll do grave. Okay. So let's get quests off there. So now if I hold down that button and I do this, nothing happens. <laughs> All right. So you can't or excavate stone apparently. And if you're trying to excavate it, you don't get drops either is what it looks like. Why am I not getting any pebbles now? I don't have anything in my hand. Okay, well, I figured out the weirdness that I was seeing there. So when you punch stone, you're supposed to get the pebbles, right? So you can see we get pebbles, and it seems like we get them every single time. Now, for whatever reason, if I have number two selected here and I'm punching the stone, I get nothing every single time. That is so weird. There must be some kind of an inventory desync. It must think that there's something in that slot. If I go back to number three and we punch, we get pebbles every single time. <laughs> okay, well, that is a very weird thing. Uh, but anyway, uh, we got the 64 stone pebbles that we need. So now we got cobblestone. So now that we got cobblestone, we can do this to get ourselves a stone rods and then we can make ourselves a hammer. Cool, so that's what it was looking for us to do. So now that we have that, uh, we need, yeah, I guess, well, let's take a look at dirt again. So it's probably easier for us to see the recipe here than to go through the quest book. Uh, so hammer says if we hammer gravel, we get dirt. Gravel is made by hammering cobblestone. So cobblestone to gravel to dirt. That's interesting. Okay, well, let's try that. So cobblestone, we hammer that into gravel and then we can hammer that into dirt. Interesting. Okay, well, that's a different mechanic. So if we go back, it wants us to have a total of 10. So we need to pretty much do all of the cobblestone that's in my inventory, except for this one. We'll keep that one. So let's see if we can vein mine this. Oh yeah, there we go. There's nine of those. And then we'll vein mine these. There it is. There is 10 dirt. That's what we needed for our quest. Very good. Let's do top loot chest. We'll just keep changing it up every time. So now we get draconium infused obsidian. All right. Not super useful to us right now, but it said it was a greater reward. So I like it. Uh, you know, I do have the game in um, cheats enabled because as you all know who have played modded Minecraft before, there's always some reason that you need to enable those. Something gets messed up, whatever. So we have all these buttons enabled here. I want to turn these off because I just never use those buttons and they annoy me that they're there. So sidebar buttons, we can come in here and turn all of this stuff off. None of these things we're ever going to use. And I think that's good. Okay. Is there a close button? I don't know. Escape works. Very good. Less buttons. I like it. All right. So moving on with the quest book here. Now that we got the dirt, uh, it says stone crook. So craft a stone crook is our next task. So a stone crook is made with four cobblestone. So we're back to the stone punching game. That's fine. Uh, I think I had two cobblestone worth of stone, well, cobblestone and pebbles in my inventory. So we don't need to punch this stuff for forever, but we are going to need a few of them. Uh, I did try vein mining with my open hand once again off the one that was not working. And it still didn't work, unfortunately. But I did get pebbles this time. So, yeah, whatever that weirdness was, yeah, I don't know. That's really odd. Like, the game feels... Oh, the game was acting like I had something in my hand, but there's nothing there. And I tried clicking items out of it and there was nothing there still and it still didn't work. I don't know. Very, very weird. Anyway, uh, we got pebbles up there. I want you pebbles. Can I, hmm, I can, oh, I can stack up a dirt. That should be fine. Okay, very good. And more pebbles over here. So we got plenty of pebbles. There we go. There's 11. 
Uh, so we need to do that into a crook. There's a stone crook. That's what we were looking for. Uh, that's from Stone Block Utilities. Okay. So go back to the quest book. Let's do bottom loot chest. We'll just kind of round robin again for today. Uh, so we'll do that. Upgrade speed. All right. So that's the first tier ones. Not so great of a reward compared to these, but you know, it is what it is. Going back again to our book, what else do we got? Saplings. Okay, so this is going to teach us how to get vanilla trees, it looks like. And it wants us to get all the different types. Vanilla saplings are obtained by breaking dirt with a stone crook. Okay, so now we get to do this. Do we get the dirt back or is it just a dirt for sapling? Okay. This is going to be fun. So we need a load of dirt then. We can probably just vein mine this to make this better. <laughs> All right, let's do that. Get vein mined. Okay, so we ended up... Is that is that nine in total? Three? Yeah, okay. So one dirt equals one sapling no matter what. And it said that we need like four of each type of sapling. Is that what the quest said? Is that what it said? Let's go back. Uh, yeah, four of each type. So that is a lot of stone punching. <laughs> Can we make like a pickaxe? Would that be smarter of us to make a pickaxe? Can we, well, we need wood for that stone pickaxe. I wonder, can we use stone sticks for this? Hmm. Stone rod. I don't know if stone rods are considered sticks and I don't know if they would allow us to make a stone pickaxe maybe probably what we need to do is get to the point where we can just grow a tree and then start making you know the normal vanilla ones okay well i tell you what we need to punch more stone to make more cobblestone to hammer that down into dirt and to crook that dirt into saplings i got some stuff to do we'll be right back guys all right guys so i just went through and i punched down pretty much all the walls they are all now flat they used to have the little hole in them like that and all the sides right so yeah we got lots of stone in my inventory we got a stack plus seven more i was gonna turn these other stone pebbles into uh more cobblestone so i split them up in my inventory and i went to go take these left click here and drag it over like you do but now we end up with 43 and three stacks and 11 in another stack yeah that's one of those things that <laughs> I know exactly what it is and it drives me crazy every single time. Mouse tweaks. Yep. So if we go to config, we want to turn off right mouse button tweak, left, left mouse button tweak with item. Uh, I'm going to turn off wheel tweak, which normally disables scrolling. I added in a different uh, scroller called item scroller because that's my preferred one. I don't like mouse tweaks item scrolling. Uh, so yeah, we can just turn that one off. So the only one that I do want left on is left mouse button without item. That's the one where you can press shift and like scroll over a bunch of things and it just moves them to the other inventory. That's convenient. That's like the only thing I like from mouse tweaks. All right, so we can do that. So now that that is disabled, we can put these things here. Then oh, if I do the left click and scroll, it divides them up just the way they should be. Okay, so now we got you know, about one and three quarter stacks of cobblestone. So we can take these and just place a bunch of them down like so. And then we will vein mine them with the hammer, turn them into the gravel and do that once again and turn that into dirt. I'm not entirely sure how much we're going to need. I would rather keep some stone for other purposes. So let's not get too crazy here. All right, and we will vein mine that up. Okay, so now we get to place all of the gravel back one more time and do it again, and then we can turn that all into dirt. There it is. All right, so we'll hammer all the gravel into dirt. And then one final time, we'll take all of the dirt and we will crook it into the saplings that we need, hopefully... We won't have to do this again. We'll have exactly the amount that we need of all the different varieties. So vein mine, let's go. I guess I should not vein mine in case we already are there and we can save some of the dirt. We are missing birch saplings and one dark oak. Mm. 
one birch and one dark oak. I was gonna vein mine, but we might see now we only need the birch. Hopefully we'll get that and I'll save a piece of dirt or something. <gasps> Come on, RNG, no! Oh, and I left a sapling on the ground. Okay, well, that wasn't quite enough. We got seven additional cobblestone here. We can do something with that. Hopefully RNG will be on our side this time. Yeah, I was kind of hoping that we'd be able to keep some of that dirt and not have to reprocess more and waste it, but you know, whatever. Okay, so we just need one birch sapling. Are we gonna get it this time? It's not looking like it. Oh, well, there it is. I think that's all we need to do, yeah? Quest complete saplings. All right, so we are left with two dirt. We got a stack of cobblestone. That's not bad. All right, so let's go to the quest book. Uh, That's all we had to do. So which one was the last one we did? I think it was the bottom. Let's do the middle loot chest. Pop it. And more draconium infused obsidian. All right, so now we got 16 of those. So let's move on now that we got that done. So it says wood collect wood <laughs> it wants us to have 16 wood does this have the uh twerk mod in it i wonder i feel like it probably does but i'm not entirely sure that it does so we'll find that out this appears to be the center of the room right there let's punch it again i didn't get anything i guess it thinks that i have something in my inventory slot there maybe that's the slot that had the loot chest that we pop open maybe that's the problem Anyway, uh, so we'll place down one of these. Twerk, oh, we do got the twerk mod, check it out. I see particle effects. Now, I think the ceiling is tall enough. It's just, yep, yeah. <laughs> it's just will it grow is the only concern here. Now, the other thing is, do we have fast leaf decay? Oh, yes, we got all the good mods. Okay, so now that we get all of that, it's just gonna be a moment for us to twerk the tree. Well, I guess twerk at the sapling to get the tree to grow, and then we can vein mine the logs. I did say we needed 16 of them. We're almost there. Hey, and we get our first food as well. That's not bad. Now, it might be an idea for us to use something like the dark oak wood or spruce or something that does like a two-by-two two style tree. Probably the dark oak since you don't need like a large room to grow it. That might be like our main wood going forward. I don't know. This seems to be working okay, though. So let's just twerk one more. Hopefully this thing will grow. This should complete our quest, I do believe. Yeah, we only need three more logs, so we should get that, no problem. Yeah, 17, quest complete, wood! We did it. All right, top loot chest, claim it, pop it. We got stone and wood! <laughs> okay, well, not the best rewards, but I guess a little bit more wood is not bad. Very good. Let's continue on here. So back to the quest book. Uh, so we can do Tinker's Construct at this point. Floral Fertilizer. Floral Fertilizer is used to obtain Botana Flowers. Right click it on grass. So I guess before we can do this, we need to get grass. I expect that'll be a quest coming up. How to get grass. I don't see grass anywhere around. Uh, do we have to make pasture seeds, I wonder, from Batania? Let's see. So grass in a mana pool, tall grass in a mana pool makes pasture seeds, and pasture seeds make grass. Can we just make grass blocks, I wonder? Is there like a... Oh, this has got the chickens mod in it, too. A lot of cool mods in here. I like this so far. Roosting, nesting pens, okay... Blood infuser, so it's got evil craft. Yeah, lots of cool mods. So I'm not seeing a way for us to make grass. So I expect there's going to be some way to do it. But we can't use that floral fertilizer until we get it. Unless there's somehow we can dig all the way up to the surface and there's grass at the top of the world. I don't really think that's going to be the case though. Anyway, so we can't do this yet. We might be able to make the floral fertilizer, but there's no point. Uh, tinkers. This is kind of what I'm interested in. I don't want to punch stone anymore. So let's make all the tinker stuff. Um, so we have plenty of wood here. We're going to need to make some sticks. Whoa, check out the crafting grid here. It's got like things hovering on it. I can't pick them up. No, okay. Uh, that's kind of cool. I like that feature, or I guess the, uh, the display anyway. So we'll make a bunch of these patterns because we're gonna need those for sure. Uh, so we are also going to need to do a log plus one of these that makes a part builder. 
You need to make a chest. A chest plus one of those makes us a pattern chest. We need to get ourselves one plank and that. That's a stencil table. We need a crafting table put there. And then mm, is it a crafting station plus one of those? Okay, so that makes a tool station. So I guess we have to make one more. So there's the crafting table. There's the crafting station. So that should be all the parts that we need for tinkers. I Was that what it wanted us to make? Oh, we need to make a part chest as well. What's a part chest? Part chest is made. Okay, so two sticks, a plank, and a pattern. That's easy enough. So there's a chest, there's a pattern, two sticks, and a plank. Got it. If I could click things correctly in my inventory. All right, so now that should be everything. Quest complete, tinkers, very good. Did we do the top one on the, uh, I can't remember. I should like have something to keep track. We're just gonna start at the bottom again. Bottom loot chest hype. All right, so we get ourselves some black lotus. I guess Batania is probably gonna be Something that's going to be uh, a thing that we're going to be using a lot of. Materials and you. It's almost about time that we make ourselves a chest because our inventory is getting quite full. Full of random things that we don't necessarily need in our inventory at this point in time. So let's just put all of this stuff that we don't need away. We're going to want to set up the tinker stuff. Uh, anything else in here that I don't need on me? I guess I don't need the black or lotus or the stone. Okay, I think we're good at this point. Um, so this is what I'm gonna say is the front. What that's facing south? Maybe that's the back. Mm, that's where our torch was. This is the way we faced when we started up the world. So back here, I'm going to place our tinker stuff. Okay, so we need crafting station. How do we do this? We need um, stencil table, pattern chest. We need tool station, part builder, crafting station. Okay, so that's the order I like placing them in. Another thing we could do to make it a little bit different than what we normally do, we could put these in the ground. We could do that with the, uh, am I not getting stuff? Gotta find whichever hand that it likes so we can get pebbles when we punch the stone. Yeah, we can do it a different way. Like we can place the pattern chest in the center and then we can place all these things around. So like stencil table is the thing I'll be using the least. Part builder we can place here. Tool station right there. And then crafting station closer. Something like that. Uh, that should still give us, yeah, we have everything is part of the multi-block. Everything can touch the pattern chest and see what's in there. Yeah, I think that works just fine. Okay, so I like it. We can start on with our tinker stuff now. Probably the first thing we want to make is a tinker's hammer. Or I'm sorry, not a hammer, but a pickaxe, a stone pickaxe. So let us do the stencil table. We'll place that in here. And we are going to do a pickaxe pattern for a head. We're going to do the binding. And we are also going to do the tool rod. We can just shift click that right into our pattern chest. Now over on the stencil table, no, part builder. Uh, we want to put in some sticks here and say we're going to use this one. So now we can do a wooden tool rod that does use two sticks. We want a uh, pickaxe head. I guess I do need that stone now. So the pickaxe head we're just going to make out of stone because it's super cheap. And we're going to do a stone binding. Cool. So now that we have all of these, we can put them all together on this one. Click them all in there, and there is a uh, stone pickaxe. Looks like it does level up with experience, which is good. Mm, anything else of note? It has no modifiers. It has one modifier. Only 25 durability. Not so good. We're going to want to upgrade that at some point. All right. Well, that's still better than punching by hand, I'm sure. Let's try... Oh yeah, we get regular cobblestone now. We no longer have to worry about the pebbles. So that automatically makes it so much better. Now it said that it only has 25 durability. However, it didn't seem like it was losing any durability as I was mining, right? I'm not entirely sure why that is. 
Oh, okay, that's weird. It says durability here, 132, and then on this one, oh, I was looking at durability for the wooden tool rod. That's not the tool durability. Okay, that confused me. <laughs> but we got to figure it out now anyway. So now that we have the ability to start doing some tinker stuff, what else does it want us to do? Uh, smeltery, making storage. Well, I did make a chest, but I guess it didn't register. We can make a large chest. We'll go fancy. Let's do one large chest. Okay, so does recognize that we did something there. Put all this stuff away. Very good. All right. I like where we're at right now. Let's do middle loot chest, because I think we did bottom last time. Pop it. Ultimate furnace. Wow. Okay. Now that's amazing for a very early game reward. So this thing, if I remember correctly, with like one piece of charcoal, you can do like four stacks of items or something absolutely ridiculous. Yeah, that is really good. Oh, am I gonna be able to pick that up now? Okay, I can. <laughs> I was concerned that maybe it had too high of like a mining level or something along those lines, I don't know. Uh, anyway, so now that we have that, we should be able to make all of the charcoal and things along those lines. That is going to be amazing. Okay, so now that we got that done, it wants us to do string, infesting leaves with silkworms and all of this kind of stuff. Guys, I think we're going to hold off on that until next time. So this is stone block. Let me know what you guys think about this mod pack. Have you tried it yourself? Are you playing it? Are you going to play it? This seems like it's going to be a lot of fun. It doesn't seem like it's super restrictive compared to some of the other packs that I've been playing recently. Uh, the only thing that's restrictive about it is that we're going to have to mine out in order to like make rooms and stuff. But since, you know, how I like making bases underground and stuff, this works perfect for me. Anyway, guys, that's going to do it for today. Thank you guys for watching. Remember to leave a like on this episode if you liked it. And we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye-bye.